Welcome to Political Notebook. When Wendy Schiller comes in and talks about the three hot political topics of the week now, uh, in the Providence mayor's race, uh, Buddy Cianci is in a little bit of a pickle because he said he wasn't going to take money from city workers, and now it turns out quite a bit of money has come from city Yeah, workers. he said he didn't take money from city workers. He took out, uh, apparently $20,000 was contributed by city workers to his campaign. Either he didn't know who was giving him money in his campaign, or he wasn't totally candid. Either way, he's got to really flesh this out, explain, does, is he in charge of his own campaign or not? And did he make a mistake? Maybe he should return that money. If I were him, I'd return the money and then put the question to bed. In the governor's race, uh, a couple of big name Republicans are coming into town for Alan Fung. Mitt Romney, former governor of Massachusetts and presidential candidate, and Chris Christie, the New Jersey governor who may be a presidential candidate. This has got to be good for Alan Fung. Oh, this is Republican star power coming to Rhode Island for Alan Fung. We had uh, Obama and Clinton for the Democrats in August. Now we have um, Romney and Christie. Christie wants to promote himself, obviously, for 2016. I think it's good. It must be good for him financially. He'll raise some money. And also courting independence. Alan Fung needs independence to leave the Gina camp, maybe that they were in for the primary, and come to his side for the general election. That's his key to victory. So hopefully he's trying to appeal, in his mind, by getting moderate Republicans to come to Rhode Island. And then finally, uh, one of the ballot questions is getting a lot of attention, almost being treated like a political campaign of its own, and that's for the Constitutional Convention. There's well, voters have to decide. So I think there's a lot of desire to make the governor's office stronger vis-a-vis -vis the state legislature, and the only way to do that is to change the Constitution. So uh, going around the state legislature is important for that because they're not going to reduce their own power in, in any other way. Uh, so you open up a convention, you maybe do some good things, but you might run into some trouble and open things up, and, and things may result that you don't like. So a convention is a risky business. Voters have to decide how important it is for them to empower the governor vis-a-vis -vis the state legislature, and that should drive, I think, their response on the Convention. But do you believe that critics are correct in saying special interests can hijack these conventions, that, that, that lots of money? I don't know about there. hijacking, but certainly special interests with an agenda will be forceful advocates in a convention, and it's an open convention. It's popular. So yeah, we can get some things that we necessarily aren't that happy with. We have to decide what the trade-off is, how important getting this constitutional change is to the state of Rhode Island. Well, there you go. That's Political Notebook this week.